All right, ladies. Well, from Jennifer Lewis to this other Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez, her and Ben Affleck have officially tied the knot during an intimate ceremony in Las Vegas. Now, Lopez confirmed their Vegas wedding in her newsletter on She got, hold up, newsletter. Oh, here she is. Uh, man. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, newsletter. Jennifer. Woo! She wrote, last mm-hmm. night we flew to Vegas, stood in line for a license with four other couples, all making the same journey to the wedding capital of the world. Lopez continued, we barely made it to the little white wedding chapel by midnight. They graciously stayed open late a few minutes. Let us take pictures in a pink Cadillac convertible, evidently once used by the king himself. But if we wanted Elvis himself to show that... Uh, to, uh, to show that cost extra. He was in bed. Okay, little joke. Uh, what are your thoughts on JLo and Ben Affleck tying the knot in Vegas? Selena, let's start with you. What do you think about this? I love me some Jennifer Lopez, first of all. But if finding your soulmate was a person, it would be them. Because when I tell you they were in love and then they broke up and then they went and both got married to different people, had children, and then had different relationships and still found their way back to each other if that's not if that is not a magnet they're not magnets I don't know what is and I just really love I'm really happy for Jennifer Lopez too because it seems like she had been trying to you know been getting engaged a lot and trying to really get it going and she's fine I feel like she's finally found love with Ben I think that they are like match made in heaven I think they're meant to be and I think it's cool to see a couple go through a lot of stuff and then end up coming back to a place like, all right, Boki, you the one. Let's just go and get it over with. <laughs> like, it's like the ultimate love story. I'm very happy for them. I'm glad that they went off and just did it, you know, because this whole big shindig stuff, like sometimes that convolutes things and makes things a fool. So I love how they just went off and got it done. So I'm very happy about this. I'm really, really happy for them. Okay, there we go. J-Lo don't care, honey, because when I tell you I like the fact that she is able to step from this one and go over here and say, this didn't work, and you don't want to do this, not a problem. Uh I am wanted, I am loved, I love me, I know who I am, and let me go find me somebody that is worthy of, and and let me go on and get married. And she she don't care what the whole world is thinking. And Mm -hmm. I like them together. I'm just a fan of love. Just Mm, oh sure. man you got a companion now to be able to roll over and say hold me tell me that everything's gonna be okay That's before right. i go out here and fight against the world okay go, what do you think it's just you know just just kept hope alive for me i mean <laughs> I, just, I feel like i damn near just want to start crying tears of joy for, for j-lo and ben you know i i i, I besides adorable. her i commend him that because, you know, the first time people gave Ben Affleck a hard time. And I love that. First of all, he screamed on everybody and said, yeah, y'all have no idea all of the racist comments and stuff that I got, that that was the main reason I gave in to peer pressure and I let the love of my life go. Mm. And that he was man enough to come back and get her after right. Alice Rodriguez didn't, didn't do what he was supposed to do and mm-hmm. seal the deal. Baby. Uh, she broke up with him. Ben was like, I'm right here. Okay. Yeah. And she said, yeah. okay, and, and, and I'm right and here. Put it on lockdown. And he gave her this beautiful green ring, which I thought was very unique. And it just made me believe in love again. So just thank you. Congratulations to uh, Benifer for having the second go round. May God bless y'all with years of love. Y'all ain't got to worry about doing the kids. Y'all got five kids between okay. the kids. Y'all. So y'all good. So y'all just live and love each other and show up and keep being fabulous and showing people that once you get older, you too can find love again. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. I, I like that. And, and I agree with everything y'all said, but I, I love that JLo is like, um, I don't care what y'all have to say about me. I'm doing me. I'm doing what makes me happy. Mm-hmm. It seems like she is happier that way. And I think that's probably the key to her fountain of youth. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you're just like, uh, I'm doing what makes me happy. It, it ain't for everybody else. Y'all don't like that I got with a rapper. Okay. And you don't like I got with this guy that I married. This is my fourth marriage. And I don't give a damn. I, yes, I married this waiter. He fine. And and she just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, and J-Lo can pull him. She can pull him. And I, to me, it makes me think, Ben Affleck, it makes me look at him like, he must really be like a Top. great yeah, he must be popping. He must be, he must popping. be popping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, 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 saw, we, saw, we saw a little preview in that one little movie that made you go, well, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, ben, ben, ben got a little swag to him, too. Oh, he, yeah. He got a little swag yeah, to him, too. He's kind <laughs> of like, like a, a, 
he kind of got like that Superman with a little East Coast swag. Right. It's like okay. a little, it's a little, it, it's that Boston in it. I think yeah. it's that it's that Boston. But uh, Claudia, you said something that's a word. I just want to touch on right quick. You said it's like she she does whatever she wants and it's like her fountain of youth. Mm -hmm. And I, you know what? Yes, that just was like ding ding ding. I guess not caring about stuff is like a stress relief. If it you is. just decide that I'm not gonna care. You can't affect me if I've already decided that I'm not going to care about stuff. I can live my life and I can stay young, vibrant and beautiful and I can choose how I want to be. That was a whole word right there. I mean, look at her. Then look at these women that stay in these unhappy marriages. They look drained. They look haggard. Okay. They look tired. They look, you know what I mean? And the ones that ain't be vibrant, they be popping. And, mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When we, yeah. like, when we happy.